of anything that I've looked at or discussed. When Mr. Paul originally came to see me, he originally just wanted his parcel to be uh, in the zone change, to change from C1 to C2. Um, his viewpoint was if he got more parcels to support the zone change, it would be less likely to be considered to be spot zoning. It would be more of an area rather than a single parcel. So that was the approach. I mean, I think his original intent and really his, his real goal is to get that one parcel that he owns to become C2. I just want to make sure that that's clear to you guys. Yeah, and I guess that's, you know, so now, now we should talk. So no, now I the condition here is to rezone at all. No, I'm, I'm not in favor of that at all. Not at this point. I think he just did that to bolster his own case. He thinks that that's going to help him. For me personally, it does not. It actually has the opposite effect for me personally. Can I, I make one suggestion? Gina, I know Gino and the plan board was working on an application for a zoning change, <coughs> which would be provi provide the town board with all the information it would need to make an intelligent decision as to whether or not the zoning should be changed. Do, Gino, do you want to just kind of walk through that a little bit? Yeah, I. Um, it's in your package. Yeah. I've been working on this uh, zone change. We had a couple setbacks, but I uh, finally got a, a, a draft for everyone to look at. Um, it made it through the planning board. We did spend uh, quite a bit of time on it going through this this application. And I mean, I could run through it and just give you a brief overview of what the application entails. Um, but I'm not sure how long you guys want to stay here. But <laughs> um, well, I would just think that this provides a format for this board to get the information that it needs in order to make a rational decision. Right. So if we want to approve this process, I don't know if it's gone through the planning board approval yet, but if we wanted to approve this and say, okay, now this is the town's policy on how you go about doing that, it would provide him a framework within which to work, and then he could bring this to the board in a comprehensive manner and could sit and decide and, and that's the goal. process to get Ultimately, started. to set some sort of parameters and have some sort of <coughs> procedure to go through. Right now, it's it's, it's just a, a blanket, it's just a, 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 a petition that's brought in front of the the, uh, the town board, and it's, there's no formal process that we have in place right now, and um, it, we definitely need something in black and white that someone can follow through and go through um, to, to formally request this zone change. Um, so, really, the, the application just has a, a brief requirement of uh, a set of uh, material that they would have to provide me, uh, the planner, 14 days prior to uh, going in front of the town board. Um, and at that point, uh, this board would look at it, review it, and consider it or not consider it. Uh, there is a fee associated with it, and if this board could not, does not want to consider it, you return the fee and that would be, that'd be it. If you did think that it would have just enough justica justification for you guys to at least consider it, um, it would be forwarded on to the, the planning board. The planning board would then review it, ask for more material, and uh, basically make a judgment uh, a recommendation to this board on how they felt about the zone change. Um, so once it gets sent to the planning board, they review it, give you guys a recommendation, you guys then get it back, look at it again, ask for more material if you need it, and then um, I put here, let's see, the, there would be a public hearing, you guys will schedule a public hearing, go through um, Seeker, State Environmental Quality Review Act, and then um, conduct the public hearing and then make a decision. Um, you know, it's that's as quickly as I can possibly go through it. Um, there, there's a lot more in here that you guys can look at, but it's it's at least a process that they have to go through. To, to answer, um, I don't know if it was Joe's question, someone's question about setting precedents. You know, I do think there's going to be some consideration, concern around that, but I also think that. Uh, each and every scenario, each and every case that you have that comes up is unique and they've got to be treated uniquely. And I don't know that just because you did one that you set a president that you need to do ten more. Um, I mean, they literally have to be identical. <coughs> none, of, none of them are. So each one stands on its own. In the right. I mean, none of them are, but at the same time, the reasoning behind it 
um, should be very consistent. So, you know, if, if the applicant has a reason for requesting the zone change and you do approve it, that reasoning, if someone has the same exact reasoning, you need to consider it in a similar fashion. And the other part of this, too, is if you read the proof, our, our own zoning is needs help. I mean, we all know that. And he, I think he's kind of a victim of it because if you look at some of the uses in a C1, they're far more intrusive compared to what he's asking for in terms of warehousing, cars, RVs, boats, things like that. I mean, if you compare that to a bottling plant, which would be, uh, you know, available in a C1. It, the zoning doesn't even make sense, to be frank with you. Why you would allow something in a C1, which is, to me, a lot more intrusive than um, light warehousing under a C2. Yeah, Again, is, the warehousing... Monday morning, is that Monday morning quarterbacking? I mean, you buy a car and 10 years later, you go, well, you know, I want to convert it to a water top. Uh, That's just my opinion. I, and I'm, a, I'm just saying, you know, like, it was some knowledge when, when this started, so. Um, I think I've talked about my opinion, so I'm going to ask Peden and, and obviously Peden and um, uh, Ty to give your thoughts. And, well, I don't know if you can give your thoughts or not. But. It, it's really up to the town board whether they want to consider it. I, I don't really have much to add other than the fact that we, you know, sitting here right now, we don't even know if we want, if he wants just his property zone or this entire area of his zone. And the framework Gino and the planning board has come up with, it would provide a very logical fashion for which to go through this. And we could probably be doing, having him go through that at the same time the comprehensive plan is being reconsidered. Um, so my thought is let's put the process in place if we are close enough to a point where, has the planning board approved um, that yet, or is that still? I think we probably need to have one more look at it. Well, what I did is I forwarded on to the all the planning board members, um, I wanted to give them, I gave them until, uh, I gave them a couple weeks, because they already went through, they gave me a, a majority of their comments already, and I, I made the adjustments to the to the actual draft application, so I, I gave them a couple more, we, another couple weeks to look at the actual draft that I came up with, um, and I forwarded it on to everyone else as well. Um, and Doug Cole also gave me his comments, and, and anybody else's comments, and I'd like to give you a, an actual final draft um, once I get everyone's comments back from the planning board in two weeks and um, and anybody else that might want to see it ahead of time. Uh, and at that point, it's in your hands, but ultimately, it's not a document that's been that's been approved by this board yet, so uh, and, and it needs to go through your your um, your board. Yeah, so to also bring the board up to speed, uh, I did have a card. I got uh, Mary Beth Levin, who is uh, the, uh, Mr. Paul's attorney, contacted me the other day. Not in a threatening manner at all, it was how can we move this process through to completion. We discussed it quite a bit. I told her that I thought the path of least resistance, if Mr. Paul can make some kind of adequate showing that he's not making money on this property, that trying to go for the use variance would be the path of least resistance if he has some, a sympathetic set of sympathetic years on the zoning board, that he could that would probably be the fastest and easiest way for him to go about doing that. Um, and Vic, I think we should allow him to do that despite whatever your reservations may be. Uh, we, we've already been there. We talked about that a month ago. I, I figured that he already... Did he apply for his No, he hasn't. We actually encouraged him, even though neither one well, of I us actually think he has a case. He, all he's got to get is three out of five. And well, that's the thing. And, right. So I, I would, hasn't done to the extent we're talking to him, or the board are talking to him, I would encourage him to go that route. Because if he's gone that route and he can't get it, that strengthens his argument for the zoning board. But he also might get it that way, and then we don't have to go through this process for him and for anybody else. So I think we, we, I think we did encourage him the last time we okay. talked to him. And I encouraged his attorney. And what I said to his attorney was, that's the path of least resistance. Tell him to put pen to paper and have him come up with the best argument he can and try and get that before the zoning board. So I think that will buy us some time with Mr. Paul to be able to finish up this report and put this policy in and procedure in place. And then we can go through that process, take him through that process so we have one concrete application from him with his best arguments as to what needs to be done, why it isn't spot zoning, and basically allow this board to have the information it needs to make an entire decision. 
So I, I think that's a, an intelligent way of proceeding on this, but I'll leave it open to the board. Sure, I'm just going to my, my two cents and then I'll move on. Um, <laughs> I can empathize, you know, uh, to a certain extent with Mr. Paul. Um, you know, I'd like to help them, and that's why we're all here. You know, and do what we're doing. We want to help people. Um, I would like to read the history. Um, I've heard snippets um, here and there, but I've never, um, you know, had the opportunity to look back and, and, and read that. So I would definitely appreciate doing that. Um, I am in favor of the the, the application process for zoning change at the planning board, and, and you know, it sounds like and others have been working on. I think. Uh, to have a formal process but to help us to have comprehensive information to work out when we're uh, facing something like this. Um, I will say that this is not a new issue. Uh, I haven't been on the planning board now for a very long time and I remember dealing with this when I was on the planning board and um, I, as much as I empathize with Mr. Paul, I know that as a town we have spent a considerable amount of time resources and energy uh, trying to help him. Um, I remember uh, the town attorney working with, I believe, him and his attorney and Dan and Gino and others. I think Pat may have been involved and other members of the planning board to try to come up with a expedited uh, special use SPU process uh, for him to get through quickly so he could get his records in there. I mean, we've spent a lot of time there trying to help him. So, you know, from that perspective, as much as I emphasize with him, we have really gone above and beyond, I think, as a town to, to try to help him. Um, the reason I asked the question about the use of areas Nick, is, um, and, and I agree with Pete's comment about the, the recommendation that that be where he goes, is there's criteria there that is pretty clear and uh, specific as to um, acceptance and approval for a use variance. And I guess from my opinion, if he can't meet that, um, any decision by this board to make his own change is really arbitrary. Um, because we, what, what criteria or you know, foundation would we have to make that decision if he can't meet you know, the criteria outlined in it? So the second page of that document. It, 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 it. So for me, I guess two things. One, I, I would like to, personally, I would like to see him go down the, the ZBA road um, and, you know, because I think if, if in fact, he, you know, he has legitimate claim to do this and it's not too detriment to town, I think he'll be able to be successful there. Um, and also that he will have exhausted all his possible options outside of coming to this board for his own change and maybe have a more solid argument if, in fact, he's not successful there. So the response, in your conversation with his attorney, was there any expectation, I mean, it just an inquiry? It was just an inquiry. She did not make any threats. She said, you know, he's been at this a long time, we're really trying to help him out. I said, you know, I think the path of least resistance is use variance, but I'll bring it up with the town board again. Um, and she said, okay, thank you very much. And that was that. So, I mean, you know, it, 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 what Todd said, it's the history here, what everybody's been saying, you know, we've been working, not me, but the town's been working for, for years on this. Um, I, I can communicate to him and say, look, you, you're going to have to go down and use variance for now. Um, we're going to try to get this policy completed and approved. It's probably going to take two, maybe three more town board meetings anyway. You know, we're going to engage the comprehensive plan. Hope that will be completed by the end of the year. Um, that's where we want to go. Um, you know, I can write a letter or communicate with him. Why don't you let me communicate with his attorney? I'll, I'll let her know that we've taken it up. If you guys are okay with it, I'll say. It looks like the game plan right now is to have him pursue the use variance unless he decides it's not worth his time. But in the meantime, the town's putting together this procedure that will make it a lot easier and everyone will have a set of rules to go by. And once that's in place, we'll take it up. He can make his best argument at that point in a logical fashion. We'll 
that only costs us 22 cents for the stamp. Like What's that? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, a, it's a 41, so it's, it'll cost 17 dollars and 50 cents. <laughs> and it's on mixed supply line, so. I just, I just want to, you know, my comment would be to, to take an action of some sort today, only to make it formal that you're going to be, you know, suggesting something to Mr. Paul. Uh, to sit back and not do anything, I think, is, is a detriment to everyone. Um, uh, you know, a, a petition was brought to this board, and for it to be sat on and not, nothing taken, like no action taken, I think is, is, is the wrong way to go. So I think that maybe something should be formalized to send a recommendation to Mr. Paul to either go to the Zoning Board of Appeals or make a decision. Um, it's just my opinion. I, I just don't think that so much time should be passed uh, without My only happening. concern about that is if the town board makes a decision that it's a final decision that could be subject to challenge. So if that would be an Article 78 proceeding, you could say, okay, the town board decided not to go on this. Now I've got a cause of action to go to the courts. I don't think you would do that at this point, and I don't think you would have the grounds Congress to do that. Um, but I'd rather just kind of, it's, it's harder to bring a cause of action against the government to force it to do something, like to act on this, than it is to challenge a decision that they made. So, you know, absent any threat, I, I think communicating this to his lawyer that we have a game plan for going forward and we intend to move forward on it in a rational way. Um, that is the action. You already took action. And that's what I'm saying, you know, you know, it's been years of action. In, in I don't know if we actually came out and formally said you need to go that route. I think it's in the minutes. We you pass said, a resolution to, yeah, to say uh, that he should go for a use period. I don't think a resolution was actually passed, but I thought that that was agreed upon by the board. Uh, you should but, check, because and that, I, that's, I saw that there was a resolution. That's kind of where I was getting at. If we don't have a resolution in place, we should have one in place saying that you should go to the zoning board of appeals. But I think it's already there. <coughs> I think um, they already made that resolution. I think if you look at the minutes, it was something like you wouldn't consider changing the zoning until he'd exhausted the ZBA. I, I um, could swear that was, it specifically said that he should go for a very Why would you want to consider zoning if you didn't pursue the other options first? Or rezoning? Anyway, check the yeah, yeah. check the minutes. Yeah. 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 So, um, do we have a resolution um, that advises Mr. Bob Paul to uh, approach the zoning board um, for use variance for, uh, for his property? Now this is going along with whatever that we need to Well, you know, he'll be able to document and say, Why do we have to have a resolution to do this? need to make an action. We've been kind of... Why do we have to lead somebody along, is my point. We, well, should, we shouldn't have to lead these people along in the direction they want to do. It should be up to them to, to pursue their uh, their goals. And they, they have. They have been. They, they've, they've, they've chosen to pursue the option of at requesting a zone change from this town board. That that was the option that he chose. There's, there's, pretty, there's pretty good reason that he hasn't come to the zoning a long shot, long shot, in my opinion. It, it really, I mean, well, and I... Is the reaction, though, that the t before the town board can consider the rezone, they want him to first pursue... Go spend 175 bucks in front of the... Well, as Peter said, maybe he'll get it. I mean, okay. maybe. I don't know. But, I mean, ultimately, <coughs> my in my opinion, he has the right to choose which option he would like to pursue. I don't know. Um, but unless there's something in writing, which I, I mean, Peter, you probably know the answer better than I do. Is there, you know, 
Yeah. Is there something that can the town board can make them required to go to the zoning board of appeals? There's nothing that we can re where we can require him to do that. I mean, there's nothing statutorily that says you know, we have that option. But it is he has two options. One is to pursue it before the town board, and the, and the law only says that the town may grant his own change. It doesn't say here's the procedure for asking for it, and the town board must act upon it within a certain period of time when it's granted. The town board has the discretion to grant it or not grant it. Right. So there's nothing requiring this town board to act on the what he did. I mean, I think this is really just and more out of common kind of courtesy and as a way of trying to help. And that should be sort of the message she should be hearing, is that we're not saying yes, and we're not saying no. You, know, you need to take an action here. Um, okay. I, I think we've... C can you say, can you deny it based on the fact that he has not exhausted all his options? No, I... We could deny it, but again, my concern is by taking that affirmative action, we could be subjecting ourselves to, to, to legal action. Where that, yes, we inconvenience him for another month out of five years. That I, I understand been, that. But we can communicate to him that the town is putting a formal procedure in place. And once that's done, he can move forward pursuant to that procedure. So, and again, I want to say the history here shows he was well aware. I agree. Of kind of Actually, walk. I know the history, and I, I think that Mr. Paul has been accommodated very well through the years of making his property worth as much as it possibly can be, I think. Um, and I think that, again, what, what Todd said is that he came to the planning board um, and we actually accommodated him. We gave him a blanket SUP to basically, uh, you know, and this was recent. This wasn't that long ago. Um, so, yeah, we, we have taken action. We have taken steps to make it, the situation better for him in, in that property. Um, my only concern is that when, you know, that no action is, is going to be taken and uh, it just prolongs a decision that needs to be made, that's all. But, but, but you know, if Peter thinks that he has a game plan that might work, then that, that, that's fine. Well, that could be their action. The board can instruct Peter to talk to the lawyer. Be that the action. Yeah. Don't make a formal. Because you're kind of pushing us into a, a decision or, I mean, an action that may not, he may not want to hear. If, well, he wants an action, if he wants an answer tonight, I'm pretty sure he's going to know the answer. And that's what we're trying to avoid is going there, right? We're saying, let it give us some time to work on stuff, but in the meantime, if you're still pushing, then you got to go to ZBA. Uh, you know, I'm not going to have a zoning change tonight. It's not going to happen. Why isn't moving forward on the rezoning application in action? I, I agree, it is. It is an action. It's an action. We're saying we've given them a lot of thought, and we've given it so much thought, we know we need this information to make an informed decision, and we're formalizing that process. And we realize we don't have a procedure, so <coughs> we're working on a procedure. We're also starting to work on a comprehensive plan again. I think there's a few actions going on. I, uh, I'm sensitive to it. I, really, I agree. You should be able to store votes there, but it doesn't say it. And I don't know what to say. Oh, we, do we need a resolution to ask Peter to write a note? Do we? Well, maybe what we can do is pass a resolution where the town board directs the planning board to complete its analysis of the zoning change procedure at their meeting at their meeting at the end of the month, so that the planning board can then provide it to the town board for action at the next town board meeting. So that way, we're taking concrete action yes. for the procedure. I, I agree. Well, what if the what if the board doesn't complete it? I don't want to push it that hard. That I don't see any reason why we wouldn't get it. They already looked at it. Uh, yeah, I think they're pretty close to being done. They they practically are at. I, I would say that we got. And we're you there. Your ball done. We're the, we, 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 kind of, we kind of did that. We kind of did that. <laughs> Let's just do it now. Get it out. There you go. <laughs> no, it, it's it's it should be formalized. It should be done. It should be. I, I guess right. give so, him a blessing. So, okay, enough. We, we beat him to death. <laughs> so, Do you have a hearing for that? I mean, I'm just thinking pass, accept the form or whatever. Yeah, well, we're going to stay in the bottom. Yeah. No, no, I mean, oh, for the next 
at the next town board meeting, if you adopt it, do you need a public hearing for it or anything like that? Not yes. for an internal procedure. No. As to how to do it. I mean, that's not a law. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm just thinking if they need yeah, to yeah, set it up yeah. and get all their ducks yeah. in a row, they yeah. for the next yeah. meeting. So you want a resolution uh, directing the planning board and the town planner to complete a zoning change application at its <coughs> scheduled meeting on June, July 24th. Really, 4th? 4th no, Thursday. August. No, we've got to be July. 4th yeah. Thursday of July. Yeah, you want to have a second meeting in July, right? The 26th. Oh, yeah, the 26th. Yeah, Okay, we have to log it. Um, all right, so resolution reads, sorry. Uh, the town board directs the planning board to complete the zoning change application. Uh, or its recommendation for a zoning change application at its next regularly scheduled meeting on Thursday, July 26th. 24th? 26th. 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 Mm -hmm. It is the 10th. So, yeah. Tuesday is the 24th. Thursday is the 26th. Yeah. Yeah. Thursday the 26th. 14th and 14th. No. So the 10th? No, we had 16th. It's Thursday. 26th. Okay. 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 Okay.